Well, hey there. Happy Monday. I hope you're having an amazing day. I have been traveling like crazy. I was in three countries in six days, got home, got the kids settled, got into bed at one in the morning, was up super early, went up for an amazing run. And uh, I was running along with Russell Brunson's book. So Russell, if you're watching this, we went for a big run this morning. It was awesome. And uh, so today I want to talk to you about what you need to do to create a successful online business. And so, you know, so many people think, well, Susan, you know, I, I don't know what I would do. And I, you know, I, I don't know how I could put myself out there. And today I'm going to actually break it down for you. And I was going to talk about something different, but I was just interviewed a couple hours ago by the German press. So um, it's actually like their version of BBC News on the U economy. And what I had to say was, different than one of the most um, you know, noted economists in the world. And uh, I'm very passionate about the U economy. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to scrap it. I'm never afraid to do this. I always believe that there's divine inspiration um, you know, that comes. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to talk about the X Factor today. I'm going to talk about this because it's on my heart and I'm passionate. So hopefully you're all excited. Um, it's great to see you. So it doesn't matter if you already have a business. It doesn't matter what kind of business you're in. We're going to talk about the, the nuances of having a great online business. So a couple of quick things, very first and foremost, tomorrow night, I am doing a special webinar on how to 8x your lead generation. So eight ways to 8x your lead generation. You can look at the events on my page. If you are seeing this video, someone shared it to a page, check out my Facebook fan page, Susan Sly Live. There's an event, you can register for it. Uh, we, I just looked at the numbers before I came and I think we are two thirds at capacity, so definitely check that out. I have an event in Phoenix, Arizona, September 9th. It's Sales Nirvana and it's all about persuasion marketing and I am a certified NLP trainer, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and I want to teach teach you how to use these superpowers for good. So what does that really mean? It's, it's how you present yourself, how you use certain words and, and even read people in order to shift their neurology. So that event is filling up. We're about 50% sold out for that. And it's sales nirvana.com. Okay. That's all my announcements. Grab a pen. Hopefully, um, today we're going to rock it out. And for those of you who check in on this page every Monday, I want to give you a huge welcome. If you're new and you don't know who I am, a little bit about me. My name is Susan Sly. I'm a podcast host. I'm a marketing expert. I had my first online business in the 1990s. It was a health coaching business. So I had people hiring me from all over the place. And I am passionate about people just like you, small business owners and um, everyday folks and helping them create that extra money online so they can succeed. So let's get into it today. So I was doing this interview for the German press and uh, she said, you know, what you're saying is, is directly opposite to this noted economist. And I said, well, you know, because her whole article is called, is the U economy dead? And I said, no, the U economy, in fact, I predict it's actually going to outpace in growth the actual existing economy. And she said, well, the U economy, you know, when you people like yourself and people are just thinking about millions of dollars. And I said, no, here's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the mom who has an autistic child, wants to stay at home with that child. And so she starts a business just to make enough extra money to buy groceries, pay for some daycare, maybe contribute to the mortgage and the car payment. I'm thinking about her. I'm thinking about the guy who spent his career working, was downsized, and is looking to make some income to subsidize his retirement. That's what I'm thinking about. You know, it's great. We can watch all these videos and you're going to make all this millions of dollars in funnel and do all this stuff and that's all well and good but let's talk about everyday folks and how they create extra money, thousands of dollars every single month, making online businesses. So here's the first thing, because I believe anyone can, can really do this. And I know that may be a bit contentious and maybe you're a very negative person. You're like, Susan, not everyone can do it. I believe you can. It's like anything. It takes a lot of work, but the cost of entry, let's start with this right now. The cost of entry to start a business is so small right now. When I first started a, an online business years ago, I mean, you know, the 
there was the long distance phone plan, there was the fax machine, there was, um, you know, building the website, all this stuff. You can even now, at my agency, the agency A, we teach you how to build your own landing pages, build your own follow up sequences. I mean, seriously, for $99 a month, you can build a whole online business. I mean, you, you couldn't do that 15 years ago. So let's get into the nitty gritty. How do you do it? So number one, what are you passionate about? Because I believe, and we hear this all the time, and you're like, Susan, stop saying, I've heard that all the time. Just because something is common sense doesn't make it common practice, and that's the reality. You've got to be passionate. I mean, for the last two decades, I've been passionate about helping small business owners succeed. I mean, that's what I do day in, day out. I had about four hours of sleep, and I'm like, that's, you know, what gets me up in the morning, and especially I have a heart for women because, you know, we go, we do go through so much. Um, we juggle a lot of balls in the air. Um, we think and cause and effect more, and I feel like, you know, my mission is to really inspire women to take control of their destiny. And so that's, you know, what I love to do, right? So what is it that you're passionate about? And you know what? There are clues. So I want you to go back to childhood. You know, what did you want to be when you grew up? You know, I wanted to be a fashion designer. I'm not going to kid you. <laughs> I didn't. I'm not a fashion designer, but I still have dreams of maybe designing a capsule collection or something. But, you know, I want to be a fashion designer and then I want to be a surgeon. And then when the movie Wall Street came out, I was like, oh, I want to trade stocks and, you know, all those things. But, you know, if there's a common thread, I want you to write down everything you want to do as a child and see if there's a common thread in all of those things. And I looked at it and you know what? It was really about fashion was about creating and precision and surgery was about precision and stock market was about precision. And in my everyday world right now, I really help entrepreneurs with precision, um, especially with technology, right? So, you know, there, there are clues. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, who do you want to help? Because we live in an age right now where transparency is key and people can spot a fraud a mile away. And, you know, really being clear, who is it you want to help? Um, you know, I, I, you know, for me, I, I have five kids and one of my kids is on the autism spectrum. And, you know, when I started one of my online businesses back in 2003, what I really wanted was to be able to pay for the support for him because the occupational therapist, speech pathologist, the tutoring, um, you know, I did a lot of stuff, but it was hard. And then my daughter was gifted and the, her school tuition to send her to a school for kids who are gifted. I mean, that's really why I started that business. It was to pay for those extra expenses. And so, you know, thinking very deeply about who it is you want to help. Maybe you're a millennial, you want to help millennials, or I have a lot of friends who are Gen Z or Gen Z. I'm originally from Canada. So um, you know, that that's their passion that like gets them up in the morning. They want to be connected with other people who are in that space. Or maybe you're a baby boomer and, you know, you, um, I'll tell you a quick story of a business. So there was this gal um, from my old hometown, uh, Brockville, Ontario. And I, forgive me, I don't know her name. I didn't use her service. So I heard about her, but you know, you hear about Uber drivers and different people. What, what she did is she decided she wanted to make some extra money. So she started a car service for people to take them from from the Brockville, from Brockville to the Ottawa airport. And so they booked with her directly, they paid her directly, and she made some extra money every single month. And it was fabulous. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, she's amazing, she's fabulous. And so that was, you know, her thing. She was, you know, passionate about helping people and she figured out a niche and that's how she delivered. That's the third thing I wanna to talk to you about. What's the niche? So. I consult to different business owners. And one of my favorite things to do is look at Google Trends. So if you go on Google Trends, you can search terms and compare terms that people are looking at. So um, I was doing a seminar in Toronto on Saturday and I had a group of entrepreneurs there and I showed them different search terms um, that were, you know, some of them were using and stuff like that. And you should have seen their mouths were dropping because they were actually talking about things that no one is searching and you've got to be relevant. So take a look at what it is you want to do. Look at the Google trends and you can actually sort them in your very own country and see, are people actually searching this? Because you've got to be relevant in that digital space. Um, because once you decide, you know, what you're passionate about, who it is you want to help, then are people 
looking for what you have to offer. And I was in the Netherlands and there was a, a beautiful woman. I was at a business seminar with Tony Robbins and she stood up and she had a business making quiches. Now she was originally from France. She lived in Australia. She's like, Oh, I love quiche and quiche is amazing. And you know, and, and we put her on the spot and we we're like, what is the association with quiche? Because maybe you think quiche is amazing, but maybe in Australia, it's not the same association. And a lot of people are in the low carb movement. So they'd rather eat a frittata than a quiche or whatever the case is. So being relevant. So that third thing, using Google trends, a book I recommend is the culture code by Daniel Cloyne. Daniel Cloyne is a professor from France and he talks about what is relevant in different cultures. So as an example, if I say the word detox in Canada, that is a much higher search term than say nutritional cleansing in Canada as it, almost no one searches that, right? So you have to understand what people are looking for because if you're gonna make any money in an online business, you have to provide something that people want. Um, it's very interesting because if Eugene M. Schwartz, who wrote the book Breakthrough Marketing back in the 60s, one of the things he talks about is that in that book, and a lot of us in the marketing space have read that book, is that you can't create a category and businesses who think they can create a category um, are solely mistaken and so you want to provide a service for people or a product or whatever it is something they actually want and I'm I'm going to be starting to work on a funnel right now with Diana who works with me here at the agency and it's a funnel that's um, a product that our friend manufactures and it's something that is for the holidays and we know very clearly people are always looking for interesting holiday gifts and that's just something we're doing at the agency we encourage all of our clients to do funnel Fridays that's every Friday they work on some kind of funnel so that's it as an aside so it's always that research the next thing that you want to do is begin to figure out what your unique value proposition is so what is going to set you apart in the market People are attracted to people who have overcome a challenge and are very clear, write this word down, about the recipe to overcoming that challenge. So as an example, if, you know, if you've been watching any of my Facebook lives, I was, I've been very transparent about overcoming certain challenges. And so you might follow me because you say, you know what, Susan, you're, you're someone who's willing to be very open and honest about your challenges, but I'm following you not because you're open and honest about the challenges, but you're very clear on how you overcame them. Um, just like these Facebook lives, if I'm being very clear in terms of how I'm building online businesses or digital marketing and very clear about that, you're following because you're coming for tips of strategies that I've implemented and I've taught my clients to implement. Hopefully that makes sense. Just nod your head yes if it does. So knowing that and now going into, great, what is my unique value proposition and what is my plan of execution? Now, your plan of execution has to be multifaceted. It can't just be social media. Um, you know, there's, there's um, interesting things happening with your social media at any one time. Not as many people might see your post. Um, you might also have people who, you know, depending on what else is going on in the world, you think, great, I'm going to tell everyone about this awesome product or service, but maybe something happens in the world and not everyone sees it. So you're going to have to be willing to try different things. And I do encourage old school face-to-face -face marketing, getting out there, telling people about your product or service. Why? Because you need to practice, right? And, and in the beginning, you might be starting to be so excited about whatever product or service you're going to do. And then, you know, you might not get the reaction people are hoping, much like this woman with the quiche, so you have to go back and kind of refine that. Does that make sense? So a multifaceted approach to execution. The next thing is how are you going to deploy? So at my agency, we teach our clients about deployment. So in order to deploy, if they have a product or service, they're gonna need a shopping cart. They are going to need a tax, a tax, a tax ID. They are going to require a CRM system. So we recommend Infusionsoft. I'm an Infusionsoft certified partner. 
Some of our clients do plug in click funnels into their Infusionsoft and different things like that. So how are you physically going to deploy it? Because it's one thing to say, oh my gosh, I have this great idea. The next thing is how am I going to execute? Let's say as an example, you're a coach and I'm just going to make this up and you are a hormone coach and you're certified and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to teach a course and I want to help as many women who are 45 and older with their hormones. That's all well and good. You know who you're going to help. You're passionate about it. It's awesome. How are they going to find out about it and how are they going to pay for it? That's the other question. So it's being very clear with that. And I recommend getting a whiteboard um, in our offices here in Phoenix. We have whiteboards in every room, whiteboarding things out just so you can go with that flow. And then the next thing is inviting some of your friends and saying, here, this is what I want to do and let them poke holes in it. You know, make sure that before you do a full launch that, you know, everything is very black and white. And I also recommend that once you do get your shopping cart in place, that you go in and physically buy from yourself. You can always refund the money just to make sure that sequence is there and also that there's a customer nurture sequence for after it. So I just want to close. Hopefully this has been illuminating. There's so much other stuff um, that I, you know, obviously I can teach you and share with you. But my bottom line message is this. I'm going to finish with this because this is what I said when I went up against um, the views of this particular economist who I deeply admire. The U economy is the future. The way we do things, um, it's being driven by generations. Um, there are people in their um, 50s, 60s, 70s who don't have enough money to retire, so they're looking for a side hustle. My generation, Gen X, um, it's very, very common to have a job and a side business because we're playing catch up from the last recession. Um, then millennials, they crave that work-life balance, and if they aren't going to get a job, they're going to start their own business, especially one that has the flexibility they can try and do the things they want to do. And then Gen Z, who is coming up, the people they worship are the YouTubers, are the people like Kylie Jenner, who, you know, managed with her lip kits to create almost a billion dollar company with a Shopify store and a CRM. It wasn't that complicated, very small staff and no physical office. She was just on the cover of Forbes. And shouts out to Kylie Jenner. She hustled for that. And, you know, regardless of what you may think, I have a lot of respect for that because here's the thing. If you can get a CRM system and you can plug in a Shopify store, do whatever it is that you're going to do at a very low cost of entry, then the world is waiting. They're waiting for your ideas. They're waiting for your heart. They're waiting for you to go out there and really participate in this economy. And I believe we should all be taking care, taking control, pardon me, of our financial futures. And so whether that's starting um, a network marketing business or taking your idea to market using your own shopping cart, whatever it is, the you economy is this beautiful sea of possibilities. So with that, again, my name is Susan Sly. You can check out my website, susansly.com. If you want to come work with me at our agency, we actually only charge you the cost of your CRM license, which starts at about $99 a month. You can always hire one of our um, certified tech coaches to help you get to implementation super fast. But if you do want to check that out, it's www.theagency8.com. There's a little tab that says work with us, watch a quick video. You can do an application. We don't accept everyone, but you can check that out. So with that, God bless. If this has been helpful, I will read all your comments. Please do share. Um, coming up this afternoon, I get to interview my friend, Chris Harder from, um, you know, podcast fame. He's just an amazing, amazing person. So Chris is going to be my guest on my show and that show will be released this Wednesday. So you can always check out my shows on iTunes. I've had some incredible guests, uh, Jesse Itzler, who started um, Zico Coconut Water, Marquis Jet, he's been on, Bob Berg, The Go-Giver, um, so many amazing people. It's a show for people just like you participating in the U economy who want to crush it in entrepreneurship. So with that, God bless, go rock your day, and I will see you next Monday.